I was born on a farm in 1933 and I'm still on a farm. And I don't know what else I would have liked to have done. I've enjoyed all my years of farming. I would always wish I'd had a farm. There's over, oh what, about 180 cows. They're all beef cows. There's no milking cows on the place. Got a few sheep for meat. Oh, there's ducks and geese and turkey, one turkey, um, and six different lines of chooks. And I also collect roosters from, that are not wanted and I sell them on. And that's just a little bit of pocket money. People would know me as the rooster man. I just got the nickname from taking roosters up to pretending to sell. So that's how I come to get into the roosters. I've done practically everything on this farm for the last 10 years. Being in town was just bored me to tears and I had nothing to do so. I came here to babysit the farm and I've ended up virtually managing it. But I'm getting too old for it now so I reckon I'll give it away. I can't look after them like they should be. Um, well, I reckon it takes me twice as long to do half as much as I used to. In other words, I'm getting damn slow. <laughs> it's just having the time to do it. And I'm finding I just haven't got the time to, to put into the chooks that I used to. Oh, sometimes I wonder what had happened to me if I fell over and couldn't get up. Most probably lay there until I died. Somebody come along when I stink. <laughs> Enough. I must probably be glad the old bug is gone. That's about what it'll amount to. <laughs> Four or five years, people around you wouldn't even remember who you were. The only ones that re remember is your nearest loved ones. And then when they're gone, nobody even remembers you. It's just the way life is. I've always got this black and white mongrel. Yeah, if I always got him, he's the best company out. I'll be 82 on the 5th of August. I'll just carry on as the rooster man. You coming? Come on, hurry up. Quick. Get over, I'll kick your backside. 